Hello friends, um, good morning. I just heard the news this morning on the ban of um, FX sales to importers of textile products into the country and I'm really wondering how effective is this CBM policy going to be? Personally, I think that it's a quick fix and should be reviewed because the impact is going to go beyond the textile industry actually. When you think of it, the parallel market uh, players are not going to be asking those who are buying from them uh, which industry they belong to or uh, who, what are they going to do with the money. Most times they just sell to whoever makes payment. So if they hike the price of uh, dollars and other foreign currencies, it's definitely going to translate into hiking the price of other goods and commodities. Um, and you know how our people are. They always like to take advantage of these things. So I think this policy should be reviewed. I'm not, I'm not, I, I doubt very much if it's going to translate into the local uh, increase in textile production or expansion as they think. Uh, I think they need to review this policy. It's, it's, not, it's not a creative one at all, as far as I'm concerned. What we need is to pump in more knowledge, more expertise, and uh, bring in those who have the equipment to set up here in the country and create more jobs for Nigerians and then help to develop the existing ones, uh, make the environment more uh, uh, effective for running of businesses. How about power? What are we doing about power? Most of these manufacturing organizations, they're running down because they burn a lot of money on diesel, petrol, and all of that. So if we develop all those aspects, I think it's better than, uh, you know, short-circuiting the sales of uh, FX to one aspect of the industry. It's definitely going to translate to increase in the others. So I think this should be reviewed. I mean, those who are behind it should really, really sit down and think about it again. All right? Thank you.